Brazen, that is the word Kirkland police are using to describe this woman. Detectives say she used a fake name when she got $2,800 worth of Botox, Voluma face filler, and Juvederm earlier this month, and then she took off without paying. Well, it turns out Bellevue police say she did the same thing to another medical provider last November for almost $1,700 worth of services. So tonight, police are asking for your help to identify her. Kathleen. When new patients at Nafisi Plastic Surgery and Rejuvenation Center make an appointment, they now have to provide a valid credit card. After police say one patient using the fake name Kelsey Ryan ripped them off. She wanted the last appointment of the day. So she came in, met with our uh, one of our providers to get some Botox and some dermal fillers as well. Elena Moy Johnston says the woman only allowed them to take this before photo. And when it came time to pay her bill of $1,675, she pretended to get a phone call from her mom. Oh, I just need to run out, um, show my mother where I am. I'm going to leave my purse and my phone here. I'll be right back. When the woman didn't return, staff looked at the purse she'd left behind. And then just took a peek inside, and it was a dummy decoy purse. There was absolutely nothing in there. This person obviously has figured out a way that they think they can get away with this. Kirkland police say the same scam happened at Dermavita Medispa on July 5th. But this time, providers took plenty of photos of the woman, who said her name was Taylor McDonald. She now has blonde hair. She got more than $2,000 worth of face filler. Went through, had the, the Botox injections, uh, made an excuse that she had left her wallet in the car and that she would leave her purse and cell phone for kind of good faith, went out to retrieve it and never returned. Again, the items she left behind were just bogus. The phone had no SIM card, wasn't registered, purse was empty, still had a tag from the Goodwill in it where she got it. Officers suspect there may be more victims and they're warning providers to be on the lookout for the face filler fraudster. So this is a repeat offender. She's obviously very bold. Um, we're all in a very small radius, and, you know, she's pulled the same thing at all of us. So I would absolutely love to see her brought to justice. The police describe her as 5 feet 8 to 5 feet 11 inches tall, with an average build and between 25 to 30 years old. I will add she has plump lips and likely no expression whatsoever because of all the Botox. If you know her name, submit an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound. Get a cash reward of up to $1,000. Use the P3 Tips app. Detectives also want to know where they can find her. If you have any information on where she works, her address, anything that can help them track her down, they really want to hear from you.